and welcome to Patricia's Orchids. Today I'd like to share with you some of my blooms for the month of October. To start with, this is my Cattleya Harrisoniana. It's been in bloom now for just over a week, nearly two. And some of the other ones I have in bloom, my Cattleya Maxima is still in bloom. I've uh, had to cut three spikes off now, so there's only two left, but it still has uh, eight, 13 blooms. Let's make it this. This is on sodium protium. Probably, I'll just put pop-ups for it. So. It's got a slight fragrance. Let's see. So this is Prestigia Garci Garciana. Let's see if the other one. I don't think they ever quite open all the way in bloom. Okay. So I've already shown you my Yersoniana. It's in quite a bit of a state as you can see mainly because it fell out of its pot about two years ago just over two years ago it being a bifoliate didn't like having its roots disturbed and i'll have to this is my red hat i forgot the full name but usually i have about five or six flowers on the spike but i had to uh repot it and it's not well, it's getting better, but I repotted it last year. And this is my uh, Mastavalia. Uh, what is it? It's called. It's a hybrid. This is let's see. This is Mastavalia Dennis Rossinger. So this opens yellow and then it turns snow white over. It takes about, I think, two or three weeks for it to turn snow white, but it's a lovely flower. Okay. And then there's my Cattleya Maxima. So the spike with the eight flowers is still open. I think that will probably be the next one to go. And then uh, this, I think, will be the last spike to go. But both spikes are still quite good. And this is my Christmas orchid my daughter gave me, my Phalaenopsis. It's, uh, she gave it to me just before Christmas, a couple weeks before Christmas. And I think it's been out of bloom less than a month. And then it started, uh, sending spikes out and now it's in bloom again and it's got another spike coming out of it so i think it will bloom again okay so what else have i got okay my vanda cerulea is still in bloom how much is this i'm quite pleased with this this the first spike opened in august early august and uh this spike will probably last at least another month. I think it'll last well into November. That's what it usually does. Okay, I've got one bud on my Catlia uh, Kyriad's Mini Quinny Angel Kiss. Considering I spent all summer neglecting it. But uh, yeah. I do love the scent on this. It's not very strong, but it does have a slight, uh, it's got a nice scent of roses. But right now all I can smell is Cattleya Maxima. Slightly sweet, spicy scent. When it was in the greenhouse, you couldn't really smell it because the Luga Maniana was in bloom, so. I've got this just opening, and soon I will have my uh, Zygopetalum. 
This was an experiment. Let's see, let's put you up here. Okay. So, why was this an experiment? This was an experiment because of what I'm growing it in. 100% charcoal. I didn't really expect it to do so well. This is the first zygo that I've managed to rebloom, and certainly the f one that's done the best. I've had two others, and they've both died slow deaths. So I'm quite pleased with this. Will I keep growing in 100% charcoal? No, I'm not going to. What I've found is that with time, in about a year, the charcoal gets very brittle and breaks very easily. And I don't really want my uh, orchids growing in fine charcoal. So I will be sticking with my most mainly inorganic media with a little bit of charcoal. But uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with this result. Also, my Mexican Lelias, Anseps, Goldiana, and Atomalus are all in spike. But I suspect they won't bloom until probably January, February time. And I'll just leave you with my uh, Catlia Harrisoniana because I'm quite pleased that I was able to save it and it grew a nice pseudobulb this year. Thanks for watching. Bye.